Hey guys, this podcast is brought to you by me. Today, it's brought to you by me. <laughs> We got merch up in the park and the on the um what do you call it fucking crystalia.com we got congratulations podcast shirts so go there and you can support the podcast and i got other shirts and shit from my stand up and all that <clears throat> i got upcoming shows in nashville i got some <clears throat> excuse me in uh raleigh north carolina i'm gonna do a bunch of shit like that and uh Austin, that's pretty much sold out. And Australia and all, and Irvine, California. Uh, and thanks for watching Man on Fire again. It's been out for two weeks, and I'm loving your tweets and all that shit. You guys are the best. Really appreciate it. Thanks, babies. This is Congratulations, uh, the podcast uh, episode 20 f- 24. That's awesome, man. Who would have thought five long months ago that today would be here and we'd be on our 24th episode? Isn't that amazing? Um, we are, uh, I'm in a good mood today, so hopefully we'll fire out a good podcast. I think so far I've had like two bad ones, if I do say so myself. Um, but I don't know, whatever. Uh, I'm here with my, co- with my coffee, ready to go and do the podcast and, uh, and all that I have, by the way, I'm at, the, I, I go to this coffee spot, you know about it. <clears throat> I'm not going to get into that, but what I am going to get into is they have a, you know, they, like I get the coffee, it, it, it's got a fucking coffee place in the, in the, in the, it's a parking lot for the coffee place. That's really all that's there. Okay. So I go in the parking lot in the coffee shop I get the drink and then I leave and there's a fucking, there's one of those, they have those, you know, those please don't back up or your tires going to fucking explode. Like the, the strip that like you go forward, but then don't reverse because you'll, and like, first of all, why have that anywhere? Even like a government building or a bank or like, I don't understand why you would have the please don't back up tire knives in your fucking pavement. So I so I pull f- out of the fucking uh, <clears throat> parking lot and then, well, you know what? Actually, my friend's still in the parking lot. I want to say bye to him. I go to reverse. <laughs> oh, shit. I, wa- I just wanted to say bye to Kevin. The fuck is the deal? Why? Why? Okay. And for the coffee shop? Hey, dude, what's the fucking big deal? If I want to reverse two more feet, why do my, why do you need to shred my tires? Isn't that like a bit fucking overboard? Like, where are we? Fucking Afghanistan? Afghanistan? Where the fuck are we that we need that? Oh, dude, when you get th- when you get this fucking coffee and you leave, you're fucking dead to me. And if you try to come back, dude, you better come out back the right way. <clears throat> There's fucking three entrances for it, and you can't go through one because of the fucking tire spikes. That's the dumbest shit ever. Hey, invent something better. Invent something that's useful. Dude, there was one, I, I saw one, there was one that was like a Subway sandwich in a Radio Shack. The fuck's the big deal? Oh, dude, I'm going to go any way I goddamn want to in the, in the, in the, hey, your Radio Shack and your Subway sandwich, it's not that important. I'll reverse in. God, that makes me mad. Don't tell me which way I can't fucking go. Bro, you get this fucking coffee and you leave and you don't come back. You understand me? If you do, we shredding your tires.
hey, dude, what? Just pull me out of the car and fucking machine gun me like the scene in The Godfather with... Uh, uh, never remember anybody's fucking name on this podcast. What are you trying to buy? A freaking washer and dryer? And leave in Las Vegas? What the fuck is that guy? James Kahn. I can never remember... My friend Brent was like, you never remember names on the podcast. And now, of course, that doesn't happen again. Yeah, Sonny from fucking Godfather. Do that. That's what should happen when you fucking pull out of the thing and you want to go back. <clears throat> oh, you reversed. Get the guys. <laughs> you get out. <laughs> Still shooting you even though you're going to die. <laughs> you with your coffee, just holding it so it doesn't spill because it's too hot. You don't want to get burned even though you're getting shot in the ch- chest and head. That shit is dumb as fuck. Don't put those strips in anymore. I wonder what the real logic is for that. Like, to, to, it's probably to siphon traffic out of there. But it's no, it's no traffic really in, in all these fucking parking lots that have this shit. Don't like it. Don't like it. Don't like it. I don't know, man. I brought, I was, and after that, I went to my to my. I had my buddy staying with me uh, for a few days in my house. And uh, hey, hey, yo, man, can you type louder, please? One fire him, dude. My producer is typing louder than shit. It's like he's got Hulk hands. One fire. Um, it's a, like we're wood, wood, fucking Woodward and Bernstein. Is this all the president's men? One fire. So, um, we, uh, so I, I took the dry cleaning to the fucking, my, so I kept on telling my buddy to who was staying with me, Joel, to fucking close the door and he didn't. And so my dogs went in there, pissed on the comforter. Now it's one of those comforters that don't <clears throat> unzip and shit. It's just the whole thing. So I brought it into the dry cleaner today. And the lady was like, I love how sometimes people just like, <laughs> like I bring it in and it's a whole fucking blanket. By the way, how, how big of an idiot do you look carrying a fucking big ass comforter out, out like on the road? There's only one way you're going, only one place you're going to with that. And that's either home because you just bought it, but then it's in some like Dexter cellophane wrap. Or if you're just holding it though, like, and it, it's so big when you carry a fucking comforter. To a like anywhere outside of a house, you look like a fucking jackass because it's so big. Like it's so big, you might as well be holding a boa constrictor. Like that's how it looks. That's how awkward it is. It's so hard to carry a fucking comforter. You need like seven people. So I brought it into the dry cleaners because it had piss on the edge. Real cool. It's white, so part of it's yellow now. It's real great. Um and uh, and I brought it in, and the lady was like. I, first of all, they're never there, right? You walk into a dry cleaner, they're always in the back. Have somebody in the goddamn front. Have somebody in the front. They're always in the back. And I feel like they're back there playing Uno and smoking. Like, just like ladies, just like, just so weathered and so like um, over life. And this is their business. And uh, so I walk in and of course, bing bong, like it's loud, scared the shit out of me while I'm holding the comforter. Um, Just like, you know, how about this ding? But some of them are bing bong. And you're like, I mean, imagine hearing that all day. Bing, bing bong. So I walk in. With my comforter, trying to hold it up <clears throat> off the ground, even though it's just going to get washed. And I walk in and she's like, hi, do you have a co- comforter or duvet or whatever? And I was like, I don't know. I just want you to wash it. The dog's pissed on it. And she said, oh, it's this is the shit. Oh, it's going to be $30. And like, why? Why? I just said, yeah, all right, fine. <laughs> but like, why is it $30? You know, if I was like, yeah, it's going to be 15, though, she'd probably be like, okay. (laughs) Like, they just throw the price out there, dude. It's cleaning. You're cleaning it. I'm not buying a fucking thing that costs a certain amount of money. I mean, I know I know in essence I am, but like, oh, she looked at me like, oh, it's going to be 30. Like, oh, fuck, man, I'm sorry. You're not sorry. You made up the price. 
You made the price. You're not sorry. And I said, all right, cool. And then my favorite thing is, when do you need it by? I need it when it's done and I need it to be done the quickest, you know? Like, what do you mean? When do you need it by? I need a, I definitely need it by fucking February 2018. But can you do it anywhere quicker? And then they're just like, how about Wednesday? Sure. When do you need it by? Ah, it's a comforter. Is it m- medication? Hey, dude, is it Lexapro? I got a question for you. When do I need it by? Well, take a look at it. Can you crush it up and fit it into a tiny orange bottle with a label on it that says Lexapro? And can you put a twisty cap on it? Or is it a goddamn comforter? Give it to me when it's done. And whenever it's done, it's okay. When do you need it by? Is it my child? 2.30 after school. I don't know, you know. Just tell me when it's going to be done and I'll be there. <clears throat> Tried to get this fucking app, though, that does it. They come to your house like a piece of shit and you t- they take the comforter. And they and then they bring it and then they bring it uh, to the thing and they direct it and they give it back. <laughs> and I tried to download it. It's called Cleanly or something. And it's not even available in my fucking area. If it's not available in Los Angeles, where the fuck is it available? That's not cool. Expand your shit. Um, and then it was funny because then I would I took my dogs to the coffee shop right before I they got fucking dingleberries in the back of their asshole and they're like sitting down like they don't give a shit like I'm like. On my other comforter. Um, so basically, I just got shit and piss all over my house. But um, so uh, so I fucking uh, had the... Um, so I'm sitting there at the coffee with my dogs, and this groomer, this mobile groomer drives by. And I I, I drew the... Or I, um, what do you call it? Um, I took the number down because now I'm just going to have the guy come by and clean my dogs. I'm like, I'm turning it. We're all turning into the most lazy motherfuckers of all time. Hey, I want Postmates to come in and put the food in my mouth. And I need another guy to fucking manipulate my jaw so it, so I chew. No, oh, bro, how, how rich. That's how rich I want to be. Have a guy put food in my mouth and have another guy moving my jaw up and down. <laughs> While another dude is sucking me off. Not because I'm gay, but just because I have lots of money and that's what I want. It's gay. Definitely, you know. Uh, <clears throat> what else did I watch? What else did I do? I watched the... Um... Oh, no. You know what I wanted to talk about? Uh... I keep seeing these billboards for the show called Will. First of all, like, goddamn motherfucker, dude. The, 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 the cocksuck motherfucker that came up with the title Will. Okay. First of all, the billboard's all over LA. It's a show about it. For, okay. The billboard is, it says Will. It has a young, good looking guy on the fucking thing and he's looking at, you, us, like he's about to be inside of us, all right? So it's called Will. It's on, I don't know what, it's TBS or TNT or some shit. I have no idea. It's probably TBS because they know drama, or TNT knows drama. TBS is where it's funny or whatever the fuck. It's probably neither of those. But it's about young William Shakespeare. (laughs) It's a show called Will (laughs) about a young... William Shakespeare. Gunk. Dude. All right, look, man. First of all, we got to stop. We've officially jumped the shark on origin stories. All right? I get Marvel. Oh, yeah. He was bit by a spider. Oh, he fell in a vat of plutonium. He a cartoon character. Origin stories are cool. You know why? Because you can make up whatever you goddamn want. Hey, it's fucking gay, man. Why is the guy so gay? Oh, because he got fucked in the butt 12 times when he was 11. Oh, cool. That's interesting. 
Also fell into a vat of plutonium, and now he's super strong and fucks all guys. Oh, really cool. Made it up. Okay? I'd watch the shit out of that show, by the way. Gay guy. But dude... Oh, by the way, for sure gonna get in trouble for that. But dude, if... Young, what was the other one? Genius about a young Albert Einstein? Gunk. Dude. Why the fuck would I want to watch a show about the guy who became famous for the shit that he does before he did it? I want to watch the guy doing what he does when he does it. And calling it Will? Oh, those fucking cucks, dude. For real. Calling it Will. Like, yeah, you know what? It's simple. Call it Will. He wasn't William Shakespeare yet. He was Will. Cucks. Dude, come on, man. Yeah, why don't you just call it Will? And then someone's like, that's it. It's so simple. Cucks. I mean, it drives me nuts. Genius. It's about, by the way, I'm sure it's a great show. Those guys are, that guy's a great actor who plays um, uh, Albert Einstein. But dude, fucking, uh, uh, oh, it's about fucking Albert Einstein when he's 20? Uh, bye. I want to watch a show when he's got the crazy hair and the mustache that looks like a goddamn broom. Oh, he's young and handsome? Kakunk. Everything is a fucking origin story now. No. That really is like... When comic book movies start to influence the fucking actual shows about real people... That's when we've jumped the shark. No more origin stories. I want to, like, uh, even the Steve Jobs one, it's just like, just show me what it's like when he makes the fucking computer. You know? Oh, he's young? Oh, he put on the fucking mock turtleneck the first time. Oh, oh, cool. Nah. Don't show me what it's like when he plugged in the fucking big-ass brick computer that was beige. And you had like 11 of them in your, in your classroom. And it was only colors of green on the screen. Uh, ugly. I don't want to see that shit. Show me when... I want to... This, here's how I want the movie to start. Go, wait, have you seen the fucking... You know when you start on a Mac and it's... Go, go, I want it to be like that. And you would be like, oh shit, it's up and running. And then... Wait, I'm laughing because... Of the fucking thing. You remember? You ever seen the fucking thing on online? It went viral, but it was like when the guy when they put it on the surround sound and he and they turned on his computer and it like woke up the whole office. Do you ever see that? And it went like gung, and it was so loud, and everyone like shit themselves. Yeah. Oh yeah, it kept going. It kept going and going. Oh shit. That's how I want the fucking Steve Jobs movie to start. And I want him to be already 42. We'll name him Steve. No, no, I don't want that scene. Oh, he's got your eyes. Let's name young Shakespeare William. Fuck your origin story. Fuck your origin story. I don't know. I'm. By the way, I'm, you know... People think I'm hating. I'm not hating. I'm joking. Um, I don't want to watch a show about a guy when they're young, though. That's, you know, everything. But he's getting so young. Show me a fucking man. Show me a woman. I, I've been watching. I started watching the show Stra The Strain. I was like, I saw when I saw the Statue of Liberty with the tongue coming out of it on the billboards, I was like, gotta watch. Like, what the fuck's that all about? You know the Statue of Liberty doesn't have the tongue coming out, so you knew it was symbolic, but I had to watch it. And I like that uh, Corey Stoll guy. I think he's fucking cool. There aren't many men, like, actors now. You know, there's a lot of, like, pussy-ass pretty boys, and this guy is just a man, and I like him. Corey Stoll, shout out. Um, and so I started watching that show. I, that's what I want to watch. I want to watch show. I don't like, I was talking about it, and I don't want, I don't want, I don't want to watch the show where like people are like, 
like where it's so dramatic and oh no and oh fucking someone's dying and or someone's crying on a bench. I want to watch a show where I'm like, where I'm where I go where where like every two episodes I go like this. Oh, uh, that's what I want to watch that show. Oh, it's that guy. Put demons in it, you know. Put demons in the fucking show. Put a zombie in the show. Put a bad guy in the show. All these shows where people are just sitting around and, and, and oh, it's real. Ah, suck my ass. Ah, but it's real, though. Oh, yeah? Put a demon in it. No, 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 but it's about put a demon in it. Yeah, but this is more about a guy and a girl and how they, really? Put a demon in it. Yeah, no, I know, but this is the, you know, the single dad, and then he's looking for, and he, so he's got to do, put a demon in it. Yeah, no, I understand that, but this one is about the economy and how it's, really? Put a demon in it. No, I understand, but this is about women's rights, and it's interesting because it takes place in the, put a demon in it. Oh, is the woman a demon? No. Have someone bite her. Make her a demon. <laughs> hey, here's what I want for all the fucking shows where people are just sitting around talking, running around, riding a motorcycle, and nothing's fucking happening. And by the way, that's not a, that's not a dig at, uh, um, what's that movie? What's the show? Anarchy. That's a show. Shit happens. People are shooting and fighting and, sh- and shit like that. But goddamn motherfucking shows where there's like a mandolin playing in the background. Put a demon in it. Take that fucking mandolin soundtrack out that goddamn thing. He met her? Oh, really? He met her? Have him bite her. Make her a demon. Oh, dude, it drives me nuts. Life, you know? <laughs> you ever feel like... <laughs> That's what I want to happen right there. No, wait, what? This is episode seven. Why is there a demon? <laughs> and then he gets bitten and then... <laughs> And then he's a demon. Bye. Take your mandolin, shove it up your asshole. By the way, there shouldn't be mandolins unless you're on a fucking gondola. Hey, if you're on a, if you're floating in water, play the mandolin. If you're in a studio, take the mandolin, walk down the stairs, get into your car, drive over to the nearest body of water, get out of the car. Grab your mandolin, walk into the body of water, keep walking till you drown. I I, I don't know what it was. In like 99, there were like 75 movies that came out with fucking mandolins in the background. And it was just like, all right, I get it. You're quirky. Fuck, fuck it. You're quirky. All right, cool. Demons. Every show that's boring as shit about anything. Any any show that's about someone dying or like people hanging out or somebody fucking is a mailman, motherfuck, put it. I'll tell you what, in like the fourth episode, there needs to be a demon in it or a vampire or a, a werewolf or a zombie. Enough with this shit. Oh, it's a slice of life. Oh, really? Take a slice of macaque and put it in your mouth. <laughs> Oh, your show's about a slice of life? Cool. I live life. Don't need a slice of it. Got the whole thing. Take a slice of macaque and put it in your mouth. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, it's a slice of life? Cool. Life? Sporing. Take a slice of macaque, put it up your ass. Over and over again. I mean, come on. The audacity of someone to say, hey, I made a slice of life film. Oh, yeah? Take a slice of these lemons, put them in your eyes. Come on, dude. Put a fucking demon in your slice of life movie. God damn, man. <laughs> Come on. Slice of life, my asshole. Only thing there should be slices of is pizza. Hey, is your movie a pizza? No? Then don't make a slice of life movie. Put a goddamn demon in it. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Slice of life. Is it? Oh, dude, is it locks? No? Is it a cake? Is it a birthday cake? Or is it a movie with fucking... uh, Or is it the the real movie 
that's understated comedy tonally with Ed Helms. Ah, it's not a cake? Cool. Put a demon in it. Make him eat Ed Helms. Fuck, if I do a slice of life movie, dude, throw me out the back of a Chevelle while you're driving. Or like any movie that starts with like that has a preview where it's like meet Ted or when your best friend's lover is your lover's best friend. Put a demon in it. Have him meet the lover. Have him meet the best friend. Have him meet all the cast. When your best friend's lover is your lover's best friend. This summer, fall in love all over. A- Bye. Gunk. Come on, dude. And then the movie makes $3.6 million. And everyone's like, well, I don't know what happened. I don't really quite understand it. Really? You don't? I understand it. Hey, what's out there? What? Where? Out there. What do you mean? Go look out there. What? No, no, no. Out there. You can't see it unless you go out there. Oh, okay. Well, where? I don't see it. Gunk. You're outside now. You can't come in my building. All right? You don't fucking back up the Brinks truck. With some mandolin playing slice of life type movie. Hey babies, I want to talk to you about Helix. Look, you're unique, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Because you're not sad, you're not weird. Well, well, that's the thing. You're weird in a good way. But you're unique, okay? You're not some boring person. You don't want, you don't walk like everyone else. You don't talk like everyone else. Or sleep like anyone else. So why is your mattress one size fits all? This is a cool thing, man. It's a truly customized mattress that will cost you five to ten thousand bucks until now. Helix. Go to helixsleep.com, answer a few simple questions, and they'll run a 3D biochemic biomechanical model of your body through the proprietary algorithms they developed with the help of the world's leading ergonomics and biomechanics experts. Now, definitely got to talk to Helix about all those words because what they mean, but still, the result, the most comfortable mattress you've ever slept in. Helix customers report a 30% improvement in overall sleep quality. Dude, sleep is everything, man. If you don't sleep, you get sick. You don't want to get sick. And for couples, they customize each side of the mattress. Your mattress arrives at your door in about a week and shipping is completely free. That's why everyone from GQ Magazine to Forbes are talking about Helix Sleep. You have 100 nights to try it out, and if you don't love it, they'll pick it up for free and give you a full refund, no questions asked. Go to helixsleep.com slash congrats and get $50 off your order right now. That's helixsleep.com slash congrats for $50 off. helixsleep.com slash congrats. Hey, guys, you want the best underwear in the world straight up? I wear them every day. I got people hooked on them. My cousin texts me about these underwear that I gave to him. Okay, if you're texting about underwear, they're the best underwear in the world. MeUndies. Every pair of MeUndies is sustainably sourced and made from micromodal, a fabric that's three times softer than cotton. MeUndies come in all different colors and patterns, and they release new limited edi- edition patterns each month that, will, that always sell out. I get them, and I wear different patterns, and I'm cool. Okay, and people think it's cool. People take a peek at my underwear when I casually lift my shirt up like a cool dude. And they're like, what is that? Oh, I like that. That's cool. Different colors. I express myself this way. This month's patterns were designed by the legendary 80s clothing brand Cross Colors with names that live up to their bold design and bright colors. Increase the piece. You dig and the OG. That's what they're like. Okay, so you've got to see them for yourself. Go right now and you'll save. 20% 20% off the first pair and receive free shipping only at MeUndies.com slash congrats. There's a reason MeUndies has sold over 5 million pairs to date, and I have 40 of them. All right? You'll feel it when you put them on. Trust me. And if you don't love your first pair of MeUndies, they're free. Get 20% off your first pair plus free shipping at MeUndies.com slash congrats. That's MeUndies.com slash congrats. MeUndies.com slash congrats. I don't know what's up with all those words, though. Myocanical, brickchanical, and a microfanical, and you put it in gigantical and sustainable animal. Oh man! But yeah, I want to watch it. Everything's. I want to watch these shows that were where you get. Oh, okay, cool. That's cool. I dude, I had. By the way, I I, I had some friends over the other day. Like you know, not many. And I, my buddy is like, my buddy Zach is like the 
the music guy. You know what I'm talking about? He's always like, Hey, you heard this music? You heard this guy? That's how he sounds in my head a little bit. You heard this guy? <laughs> he laughs at everything, dude. It drives me nuts. Like, I'll say something like, Ah, oh, man, I really want a banana. And he'll be like, <laughs> Like, huh? And I'll be like, what, what are you laughing at? I'll be like, I don't know. It's just funny. <laughs> But he, um, he, um, I put on the music and I just put on a Pandora station, like fucking, I don't even remember. It was like the hits of today or whatever. And it was, they were playing all like Fetty Wap and shit or whatever. And he was just like, oh, this music, man. Why don't you put on some other music? Put on a good thing. You got Bluetooth? I'll put it on my playlist. <laughs> and I'm like, dude. I don't give a fuck. First of all, there were like six people there. I was like, dude, I don't give a fuck. That's the worst guy to be, by the way, at the party. Besides the guy that picks up a guitar and plays it himself and then ruins the vibe. The guy who's like, hey, put on some different. Hey, you, you, hey, my playlist. Hey, dude, jump off a bridge. You're where you are. Just chill. Don't fucking. I put on a playlist. What are we going to try to. Who are you, Stalin? What are you, fucking Hitler? We got to control every song? Just let it ride, baby. You're in a pool, dude. <laughs> That's what he would do. He'd be like, oh, put it up, put it up. And then, and then so I, 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 I put on, just because I wanted to, not because he said, because I said, bro, shut the fuck up. Let's just listen. It's what it is. There's, there's six people here. We're having a good time. I'm not changing it every time somebody decides they don't like the song that's playing. Oh, but the music. <laughs> so I told him. So I. So then I changed the channel, not because of him, just because I wanted to, and I put it on '80s music. And he was like, "Oh, this music. Oh, I love this song." And I said, "I don't give a fuck, man. I don't give a fuck." Every song that came on after that. Oh man, I remember this song, dude. Shut the fuck up about music. <laughs> it was so annoying. See, this is good music. This is it. You you think I give a fuck about what you think? About my playlist? I don't even give a fuck about it. Oh, shit, man. You enjoy the music I enjoy? Suck a slice of my cock. Go make a fucking slice of like music. D- movie. Dude. That guy, that's like, or the guy that comes up to a DJ with a request. I mean, obviously, I'm not a DJ, but bro, hey, can you play Crazy in Love? Hey, can you play something from the Chain Smokers? Do you have churches? Turn round. Turn round. Hey, dude, why are you, fa- why are you facing me? Turn round. If you make me play something, Because you're requesting it. Turn around. You got to get fucked up the butt. Dude. That's what should happen anytime. Hey, DJ, can you play um, Tom Ford? Oh, you got to get fucked up the butt now. The whole fucking shit. Put on a... Hey, could you play a SoundCloud rapper? Dude. Our cocks should be facing the same direction, and I should be behind you. Turn around. You got to get fucked up the butt now. SoundCloud rappers. Hey, SoundCloud rappers. Do you rap, or do you just draw on your face a lot? Hey, SoundCloud rappers. Is your face... (laughs) Hey, SoundCloud rappers. Is your face a face? <laughs> or is it a billboard on the way out to Kavina? Hey, dude, SoundCloud rappers. Is your face a face? Or is your face a low-hanging billboard on the way out to Westminster? Why the fuck are they... 
I mean, dude, they just do too much. Hey, guys. Hey, guys, relax, dude. Relax. I like to imagine SoundCloud rappers running like and sweating and running so fast to tattoo parlors and being like, and while they're running it, they're like, <laughs> and they got to like, they're like, oh, I can't wait to get a 69 above my eyeballs. I can't wait to get an ice cream cone. I, oh, I got such a good idea. I got, I'm going to get a, a tattoo that says kitty cat on my cheek. I can't wait. And then they're running. <laughs> you fucking teen. I mean, hey, what the fuck are they doing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, you definitely don't give a fuck. I got that. SoundCloud rappers. I mean, Mama Sadie's Benz truck. 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 With a fucking Winnie the Pooh on his temple. Mama Sadie's Benz truck. Mama Sadie's Benz truck. Who's it for? Who's it for? Oh, man. What? What's happening? Oh, man. <clears throat> it's time for a segment. And it's a new segment. But it's a segment we like to call the most fucked up Instagram post all week. Uh-oh. The most fucked up Instagram post of the week. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Gunk. And uh, shout out to... Um, shout out to the homies Steve and his wife, Molika? Molika? For making that new jingle there. Really fucking funny. Made me laugh real hard. The most fucked up Instagram post uh, all week. Of the week. Most fucked up Instagram post of the week. Sorry, it's still new, so we're figuring it out. Now, here we go. This is the most fucked up Instagram post of the week. Uh, and now, I don't say the names because I don't want my people to attack them because people can be ruthless. But here's a guy, and uh, it's a selfie, which is fine, but it's in the mirror. So, uh-oh. Uh, now, he's got the uh, the the credit card fucking thing on his self on his phone you know he's got the back of it like to where he's he didn't take it off so we could see his visa his visa credit card uh, that's very stupid and it's backwards because it's in the mirror it's in the mirror no -oh. now he's got uh hair which is fine uh, it's great hair but he's also shaved the sides of it no -uh oh no it doesn't matter but uh oh with all of it okay and then he's completely ripped he's sejacked he's the most jacked man i've ever seen and uh, this is the this is the quote. Uh, this is the con the this is the uh, caption. First of all, it's written like like not all together. Like it's like there's one line is one thing, and then there's another line, and there's another line. I don't even know how people do that on fucking Instagram. I always try to do it. Never comes out that way. How you do that? You magic on Instagram. So this is what it says. The first line is, I lift weights. Ni shit. Got that. Got that. Know why? Because your body looks like a Thor. Then after that, it says, I eat plants. Ni shit. Everyone does. That's the next line. Then the next line is, I meditate. Doesn't matter. You know why it doesn't matter? It's a selfie. Then the next line is, I drink green smoothies. N shit. You already covered that with the plants. So already, you're being dundin. You're being dundin, and it's the fourth line and fourth sentence. Now, here's the next line. I believe in the universe and its energy. N shit. You know why? Because you got to believe in it because those things are things. Okay, it's like saying I believe in the I believe in a couch. Eh, it's pointless. Next line: I care about animals and the environment. 
Oh, really? You're not a sociopath? Cool. I don't waste energy on negativity. Oh, when people say that, I get BRM. Because you're human, and you do. Everyone always has negative thoughts. If you don't, you're a robot. If you don't, you're a fucking lunatic. Everybody is negative sometimes because you have to be. Because if you're not, then you can't do what's positive. You fucking dolt. The next one, now this is the one that starts to get my insides a little bit of a fucking, I'm BRM, okay? I am human and make mistakes. Hey, man, you just made seven of them, okay? You posted the selfie and you said all these trite bullshit things that have nothing to do with the selfie. And they're all one, each one of the lines is a new line. And you're not a fucking, you're not T.S. Eliot, okay? I'm human and make mistakes. Nish yet. You work out too hard. And then here's another one. I am who I am. Bye. Hey, dude, are you, unless you're Popeye, you shouldn't say that. Everyone is who they are. Everyone is who they are. And you already said you're human and you make mistakes. So again, you're being dundant. Constantly, here's the next one. Constantly changing but remaining true to myself. Can't be. Can't be. You contradict yourself in, in one line. I am who I am. Constantly changing, but remaining true to myself. That's a bunch of fucking horseshit. That literally made me want to start shitting in my pants. Here's the next line. It's okay. By the way, too many. Too many, man. Come out with a book. Here's another one. It's okay to live a life others don't understand. No, it's not. Not if you're a serial killer. Next line. Surround yourself with people who do. Oh, if you do that, you end up getting serial killed. Hashtag thought of the day. Not one thought. Many thoughts. Don't do that. Bye. Dude, change. Hey, man, change. Completely change. Hey, dude, this is a cool post, but completely change. (laughs) Consistently changing? Cool. Keep going. Are you consistently changing? Cool. Keep going for a long time till you're not as buff and you don't say all those things. I mean, who are these people, you know? Guy's probably super nice. But also, that was the most in- fucked up Instagram post of the week. God, the guy's ripped. He looks amazing, actually. He's a cool dude. He's probably, he's probably a nice guy, too. And he's vegan. How do you do that? So impressive. Honestly. God, people work hard for shit, huh? That's good, though. So going back on everything you just said. Actually, looking at this guy's Instagram now, it's impressive how strong he is. Why do you want to be that strong, though? <laughs> I mean, I well, if you compete, right? That's the only reason. If you're a guy who competes bodybuilding, great, cool. Work hard. I love that. If you're a guy that fucking just wants to be big and muscular and you have, like, a job, you're weird. That kind of guy's weird. Oh, oh, that's always been weird to me. I don't. I never understood that that kind of person. Never understood. It's like, uh, I guess it's your hobby, I guess. That's your hobby is being fit and shit. Um, it's like, what is it like? I don't know. I'm supposed to think about what it's like because it's supposed to be a comedian and I'm supposed to come up with a funny analogy, but don't have one, don't have brain power for it. I feel like I get on one or two good rants on every one of these and then that's it. Mm. Then I peter out. I'm going to look at these hashtags here. Um, congratulations. Pa, congratulations, pod. I like the people on Instagram, though, that are like obviously famous for how they look. Like because they're good looking and then they have to like sometimes play the guitar on a post, an Instagram post, or like show you a painting they did. <laughs> Cause they're like, remember though, okay, I I can do things. I'm a ta- I, I'm talented. When people who get widely known 
solely for their looks and then they have to make sure that they know people know that they're talented like (sighs) just be fucking you know just be just it's instagram just chill You, you can just be a good looking person on instagram that doesn't mean that you're fucking nobody thinks you're not talented although it does if you start to do dumb dumb shit and then we see the shit like the paintings aren't and you're not talented you know so just just keep it real um anyway uh let me look at these congratulations pod hashtags here uh see who's trying to game the fucking oh this is funny this guy right something that i fucking thought was funny here uh yeah his name's cory britsky at stallion underscore cory i got a fucking hey man change change it you're not no don't write stallion unless you're a horse but then you couldn't then you couldn't type with the hooves hey why do wrestlers with long hair always have wet hair that's hilarious actually that is true why don't wrestlers just have fucking dude if i was a wrestler i'd have long hair but i'd have that shit fucking brazil i get a brazilian blown blowout forget it my shit would be beautiful I would have fans, like not like people. I'm talking about actual fans blowing on me. This shit would be so goddamn gorgeous. And I would fucking, I would come down on a wire and you would see how beautiful my goddamn hair was. It would be like a Beyonce show or Mariah Carey in her prime. Um, Yeah, they're always wet. Google it. That's weird, huh? You know there's a guy with a water bottle spraying them before each photo shoot. Also, they're probably just a sweaty mess because of, well, the wrestling. Um. Oh, here's something that somebody wrote. Michael McGowan, the sixth. Oh, hey man, there's too many Michael McGowans in your family, dude. Name somebody Steve. Um, your thoughts on filling the quiet with so what's new? Yeah, dude, I actually don't like that at all. Okay. And everyone shouldn't. And I think everyone doesn't. But people still do it because they get uncomfortable. But here's the deal. Here's what I don't like. When you're already talking and the conversation's going well and you haven't seen somebody in a few months. And in the middle of the conversation when you're, st- when you're already talking and somebody does that. And somebody says something. So tell me, so what else? What's been going on, man? What do you fucking mean? What do you mean what's going on? We're talking, dude. So what, 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 what do you want me to say? What's not good? What's not good enough about what I'm saying? I just told you I fucking been doing what I'm doing. What else, man? What do you, what do you want? What? I've been robbing gold from banks. Is that what you mean? Sorry. My life is so fucking boring that you have to keep asking me what's been going on when you're hanging out and you're like 30 minutes in. So what up, man? So good to see you. What else has been going on? Hey, when are we done? Telling you everything that's been happening. I don't want to fucking talk about what happened. I want to talk about like fucking faces and your outfits and you know. You've been fucking? You've been fucking? You've been fucking sucking? You've been fucking and sucking. You bought new pants. What happened, dude? Don't fucking tell me about some bullshit about like, yeah, I was going to join this and then that happened and then my buddy's having a kid. The gunk, dude. I don't care about all that shit. Your buddy had the kid. Don't tell me about it. I don't have to fucking sit here and listen to that boring shit. Tell me you've been fucking or sucking. Tell me who you've been fucking. Tell me who you've been sucking. That's the fucking country's... Tell me who you been fucking. Tell me who you been sucking. Don't tell me about your friends, kid. Tell me who you been fucking. Tell me who you been sucking. Don't tell me about how you joined something. Tell me who you been fucking. Tell me who you been sucking. But if you tell me about your ex-girlfriend, I'll good. I'll get irate. Unless you've been fucking her, sucking her. Where'd you come? Where'd you come? Where'd you come? 
Don't tell me about your kid and how he's in a little league. Don't tell me about your mom and her friends. Don't tell me about your dad and how we traveled to Europe. Tell me where you've been coming. <laughs> Did you use a condom? Did you not use a condom? Were you in a bed or a hotel? Tell me all the things where you've been fucking and sucking. But if you tell me about your daughter and her mom, then I'm gonna get up and leave. Brown. Then go fucking suck and come back and tell me how it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit oh fuck oh my god you know dude do you get on stage and do you do stand up do you make people laugh tell me about what you said tell me about the jokes you said i live a life of play all you gotta do is make me laugh and then tell me about fucking sucking that's all you gotta do. Definitely don't tell me about things that you're into like the Mets. <laughs> oh, you're into the Dallas Stars. Oh, you're into a team in Winnipeg. Oh, you fucking follow the Rancho Cucamonga Quakes. I don't care. Do you fuck them and suck them? <laughs> Do you make jokes? Then just say them. Oh, fuck. I just want to sit across from somebody and I want to fucking talk about them right there to their fucking face, man. And I want to talk about me. I want them to make fun of me. I want them to make fun of my life. And I want to make fun of them. And that's all I want to do, dude. Goddamn motherfuckers. Yeah, my kid's in. Good conk. G-gunk, g-gunk, step outside the place, g-gunk, g-gunk. Got to shut some doors on, motherfuckers, man. You think I'm not serious, bro? I'm Tupac in this motherfucker. We got to shut some doors on these motherfuckers. <laughs> uh, I love boring people, by the way, but just let me fucking make, let, let's make fun of all of it. Oh, fuck, dude. Loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. One time uh, I was at a, a pizza place I used to go to in, um, in in where I grew up. And there was this really old guy. And he was so pissed off, always giving the slices of pizza out. And he was really old and he had orange hair. How come some guys have orange hair? Hey, man, diet brown or blonde? You white guy with orange hair? Oh, cool. Hey, why would you do that? Hey, dude, real quick quest. Why would you do that? Hey, man. Hey, hey, fucking, who did your hair? Chester the Cheeto? Or whatever the fuck his name is? Chester Cheeto did your hair? Um, And he was doing it. And his wife was like this. He was like some old white guy. And his wife was like some Vietnamese lady. Of course, because they had a pizza shop. There's nothing more pizza shop than a, an old white guy and a Vietnamese lady handing out pizza. They literally could be hanging out. If they hung out long enough, a pizza shop would be built around them. If that happened. When an old white guy meets a fucking younger Vietnamese lady, a pizza shop. If they stand around too long in one place, a pizza shop is erected around them for safety. And then, and then they're like, what are you doing? And they're like, we got to do this for safety. You stood in the same place for too long. He's like, and he's like, what if I leave? And she's like, what if I, what if we walk away? And they're like, that's fine. But if you stay in one place for too long, we will bring an oven in here and we will erect walls and we will put Joe's pizza outside of it. We, if the guy's name is Joe, it doesn't matter. We got to tell us her name. We'll put a sign up. So, um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, oh man, this is a loosey goosey podcast, man. So he used to go there all the time after school and he used to deal with kids, man. He must have hated us fucking snot nosed teenagers. And uh and uh she gave him the pizza once that I ordered and she goes and she goes, Here you go and she's <laughs> she said it's hot 
in a little Vietnamese accent and he fucking turned around to me and I heard him say, and she didn't, but I heard him say, I know it's fucking hot. <laughs> like, tell me about that shit when you're sitting across from me, man. It's so funny to think about how miserable this fucking orange haired fucking guy's life was. I know it's fucking hot. <laughs> And, and and shit like that happens in life and you have the audacity not to tell me those things and tell me about your kid doing Little League? Tell me about fucking and sucking. Tell me about when a pizza guy snapped at his Vietnamese wife. But don't tell me when your daughter started learning how to play the flute. Brown. Come on, man. Dude, shit like that happened in your life? I know it's fucking hot. <laughs> that happened, man. Oh, fuck. Oh, and your mom moved out of her house? <laughs> Gotta tell me some bullshit, man. Oh. Let's look at more of these fucking gaming the systems. Congratulations, Bob. Oh, this guy said better. They better bring out the Brinks truck. And everyone's saying, "Are you a fan of Chris D'Elia? Isaiah Thomas in um, the, on the Celtics, I guess. But I think fucking Two Chain said that or something. I mean, doesn't that some rappers say? Um, let's see some more shit here. Oh, that fucking wet wrestler head thing made me fu- made me laugh. <laughs> it's so funny when everybody does the same shit. Oh man. All right. Oh, somebody said, by the way, somebody sent me, they said they were watching my Netflix special in a polo with a big ass number on the, on the high left side of it because he, because I was talking about that on the podcast and he really did. He had a number 43 for no reason on this fucking thing. All right. Well, I think I'm going to wrap this shit up. Let's see. Maybe we could do one more here. Um, by the way, guys, I have a blast doing this, but I will stop if you guys don't fucking rate and review it. I really will. Um, so tell your friends about it, man. Uh, tell your friends about it. And um, rate and review it. And tweet about it. And put up Instagram posts and shit. And send the links. Say, hey, listen, watch this podcast. Listen to this podcast and do the link. And if it grows and grows, I'll do start doing video too. Because I was thinking about doing that. You guys are great. Um and fuck, I had a good time with this one, man. This was a Lucy Goosey podcast. This was the Lucy Goosey one. Um, you guys are my babies. Don't you forget that, man. And don't you forget that you guys are in my cult. Because this is really just the beginning of a cult. My friend said he started listening to my podcast and he was saying, dude, it's kind of cult like what's going on. And then I started saying, hey, I'm starting a cult. And he was like, oh, shit. Which means it's real, man. And you guys are killing it. You guys are helping me out. All I want to do is sit in a fucking cabin out in the woods and fucking have teachings and readings and shit. And like, you know, nine people I fuck. Guys and girls. Not even gay, but just like, because you're passing your knowledge. It's like Greek, like how they used to think that like doing that made you a man. Um, talk about Talk about fucking and sucking and definitely not talking about Little League. You guys, um, we rode this podcast till the motherfucking wheels fell off. Uh, I'll see you soon, Austin. I'll see you soon, Austin. Tickets at crystalia.com. I'll see you soon, Albuquerque. I'll see you soon, Mon- Montreal. Charlotte, uh, Charlotte, Nashville. Bada bing, bada bang, bing, 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 bing. I'll see you all, you guys. Rate and review the podcast, please. If you haven't watched my, uh, my special yet on Netflix, please watch that. Man on fire. Man on fire. And uh, hashtag it all up, man on fire. Congratulations, pod. And uh, help me back up this motherfucking brink truck before Isaiah Thomas gets it. All right? Because that's my money, dude. Uh, you guys are my babies, and I appreciate you a lot. Thanks, guys. Congratulations. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Tell me about fucking and tell me about sucking, but definitely don't tell me about how your daughter played the flute.